Hello and welcome to another tutorial. A quick recap from the previous lesson. Snapping, press and hold uh, control or command on the Mac. And then your object will snap to the grid. Currently assign material. Select your object. In this case it's cube which has a mesh renderer. And then under mesh renderer component you look for the materials. Expand it if it's collapsed and then you will see used material. Object is using default material so if you want to create your own go to the project then right click here and then create material give it a name. Now feel free to change color let's make it something blue and in order to apply just drag and drop. If you want to uh, change pivot create an empty game object and and let's do create empty child. Let's call it very tall building. Then unparent it, y position to zero, and then make game object child of that empty game object. Now you can give it like some really big scale, let's say six. And let's uh, assign tall building material here. Now we are ready to continue. Let's uh, add a texture to our buildings. You just go to Google Images and then you search for something like a seamless brick wall texture. This one looks good and this one also looks alright. I already downloaded this. In order to bring texture to our project uh, you can either right click here and then import new asset and then you just go and select your asset. Otherwise, you can just drag and drop it from your Finder or from your Windows Explorer right here in the project. Let's give it a name. If you are very lazy, you can just drag and drop brick texture onto the game object in here. Materials uh, folder will appear. If you open it, you will see we have material called brick texture, which is exactly the name of the texture we applied. If you select this game object, go to Mesh Renderer, check Materials, now we have Brick Texture. This is one way of doing it. I like a little bit more control, so let me get rid of this one. And you will immediately notice that currently this, um, this uh, building is purple now. Which means it's missing material. It's the way Unity is telling you that okay this one doesn't have material and it is very useful if you have a complicated uh, scene then you can just instantly see if something is missing a material or texture. Alright now let's bring back brick building material. If you drag and drop texture in this square then you will see similar results but our building is yellow now. It's because this color of this texture is being multiplied by the albedo color in here. So if I change it to blue, then it will turn blue and green and so on. So let's bring it back to white. The other way to browse for textures is if you click on this little circle to the right. And then you will be able to see all the textures which I used uh, in your project. And then you can select different ones. So let's double click to apply the brick texture and then let's do the same for the tall buildings. Let's bring in glass texture and change color to white. Here everything is just way too stretched. Usually you will have to deal with this kind of issues in 3D program but the dirty way is uh, just to deal with styling. Let's uh, see we are using scale of 6 and set our Y tiling to 6. Now you will see that this texture will repeat 6 times. But of course <laughs> it repeats on this cube as well which is now causing compression. Alright now we are ready to build a little street. Let's tidy this up a little bit first. Let's create a couple more copies of our buildings maybe make one more copy of the tall building. We can also scale this down a little bit. Now 0 0.5 should work. Yep, same here 0 
Beautiful. Uh, let's get ready for the next step.